Assalamualaikum. My name is Iklim Nawara Binti Mahmah Jamain. My mail telephone number B0920103014. Today our group will be presenting a poster based on a case study from lab session lab 1. We choose the topic lab 1, kinematic viscosity because it allows us to explore the strength of the oil frame between surface. Through this lab, we learn that a higher kinematic viscosity indicates a thicker, slower flowing oil. While a lower viscosity signifies a thinner, more readily fine oil. Now, I'd like to move on to objective lab 1. Our first objective is to understand the kinematic viscosity measurement method. Second, to determine the viscosity index of lubricant sample. Lastly, to understand a grade of lubricant oil based on viscosity. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Muhammad Haikal bin Amran. Ammometric B092010297. Today, I will uh, present about the uh, assignment uh, and about the lab 1, kinematic viscosity. Uh, I will present uh, the part of theory. Okay. Uh, measurement of viscosity is extremely important for hydraulic oil diesel engine oil, gears, and fuel oil. It is a property that shows the strength of the oil film uh, between the ciphers. Okay, after that, uh, the viscosity is defined as the uh, resistance to flow of a fluid deformed by shear stress. Uh, we can see the diagram that uh, shows Okay, if U is higher than H, uh, we can use uh, this formula, viscosity index equal to L minus 2U divided by L minus 2H and times to 100. Okay, if H is uh, bigger than U, we can use a formula, viscosity index equal to uh, NT log N minus 1 divided by 0 0.00715 uh, plus 100. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Hello. Uh, so my name is Hashish Bay. I'm presenting about the methodology for this lab too. So first of all, we have to ensure that the viscometer is placed on a stable and level surface. Then we shall connect the power supply to the viscometer and turn it on. Then we shall uh, set the temperature. So. Based on the desired test temperature, we will set it on the viscometer. The temperature will be crucial because uh, viscosity is highly temperature dependent. This is usually done through the temperature control panel device. So first of all, you have to make sure that the sample is the fluid we want to test. Then we have to follow the recommended procedures. For example, sample collection and proper preparation. You will have to open the sample chamber or capillate to the viscometer. You will then load the sufficient amount of the sample into the viscometer, it has to be slightly above the V plate of the viscometer. We also must be uh, careful not to introduce any air bubbles. We can also release any excess air bubbles in the viscometer by loosening the valve, which is located with, uh, in between the plug of the viscometer. Then what we do is we start the viscometer and allow the sample to reach a set temperature. So the set temperature could be 40 degrees Celsius. And then what we do? We wait for the viscometer to reach the set temperature. In this uh, example, 40 degrees Celsius. And uh, when it reaches the 40 degrees Celsius, we may have to tilt the viscometer a couple of times. And once the, the, the sample temperature is uh, at the desired temperature, the viscometer will measure the viscosity for both 40 degrees Celsius and also 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, there will be uh, three readings for each temperature, and all the three readings will be displayed on will be displayed on the viscometer screen, and can also be recorded manually for data collection. Finally, after the measurement is done, what we do is we clean the viscometer thoroughly to prevent cross contamination between different samples, and we also turn off the main source of the power. So that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Muhammad Hazim Ayman Bihazman. My number metric is B0920101111.
So say, I would like to explain about result and discussion. The SAE viscosity grade of engine oils can be graded according to SAE J300. Based on the data, the kinematic viscosity of sample B and sample D at 100 Celsius are 15.1 mm2 per second and 8.13 mm2 per second respectively. According to SAE J300, J300, sample B and sample D are graded at SAE 40 and SAE 20. Based on the graph, the viscosity index of sample B is 99.56 while the viscosity index of sample D 97.11. Thus, it is possible that sample B and sample D are both refined mineral oils. Okay, now, the viscosity index of a lubricant refer to the rate at which its viscosity change in response to change in temperature. A great viscosity index corresponds to less variation in viscosity temperature change. A lubricant with a higher viscosity index is preferable since it offers a more consistent lubricating layer across a wide range of temperatures. The viscosity index of refined mineral oil typical range around 100 while material and synthetic oil have a higher viscosity index of approximately 150. The result based, uh, based on uh, the sample B and D uh, show that viscosity index of sample B is 99.56 while the viscosity index of sample D is 97.11. That's it possible that sample B and D are both refined, refined mineral oils. So that's all for me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Surendran Balakrishnan. So for this assignment, we took lab one kinematic viscosity lab. I'm here to present about the conclusion part, represent my team. So as we all know, obviously just now as my friend mentioned, to understand the kinematic viscosity measurement method, that's the main objective thing. So for the particular conclusion part, our group actually conduct the experiment utilizing the kitty weight viscositor apparatus we are just using two types of oil there are four types of oil actually uh, type oil a b c and d so we are using sample b and sample d as the as instructed by the lecturer overall the lecturer section conduct by us and instruct by our lecturer that's one of the conclusion so the second conclusion is uh, the collected data actually reveal that particular sample B and sample D uh, viscosity index. Meanwhile, sample B uh, index, viscosity index, uh, we get 99.56, while sample D has a viscosity index of 97.11, uh, which those indicating that both samples are refined mineral oils. So kinematic viscosity of sample B uh, and sample D at 100 Celsius is 15.1 millimeters square per second. Meanwhile, re respectively, the second time we get the data around 8.13 millimeters per second uh, and following up respectively. So sample B and sample D are classified as AE40 and SAE20 according to the SAE viscosity grade. That's all for the conclusion part. Thank you.